up, everybody? We had a fun day yesterday going to the uh, wildlife park. Um, but once we got home, I started working on the bumper, and my new horns were here, so I was working on getting them installed. Um, and I had a lot of fun with that, realizing that not only was my old horn bad, but also the switch in my steering wheel was bad. So I'm going to show you guys what I had to do to temporarily rig up a horn, so that way I'm not revving my engine and screaming out the window at people to go when the light turns green. All right, so my horn itself quit working, so I got these big old cool looking neo chrome looking horns and I got it all wired up and everything just to find out that the switch in the steering wheel wasn't working so got the steering wheel all apart I was having all kinds of fun yesterday um, my plan was to grab a little switch I could flush mount and I was gonna put it in a little panel right there because you can see I tore everything apart tried to figure out if I could clean or fix whatever the problem was in here that wasn't happening so what i ended up having to do was i had to grab a little switch from the auto parts store which i was going to grab some a nice little small switch or button that i could flush mount on a panel in here um, but the one that i grabbed the guy at the store said would not work so i just grabbed this one for now um, i just don't have the money to order a new clock spring right this second so it's just a just temporary fix until I can. Um, I know a lot of people are probably going to scream at the phone when they're watching this, but I'd rather have a horn than not have a horn because it's just infuriating when people won't go when the light's green or when they're about to sideswipe you going down the highway. So I figured I'd rather be safe than sorry. Things didn't quite pan out how I'd hoped yesterday, but we do have a working horn again, so I'm extremely happy about that. Um, all I had to do was run a wire from the horns to the switch and then a wire from the switch to the battery on the positive side and that was it. Super simple. So we have a horn again. Super excited. Getting the uh, clip here repaired also. It's coming out pretty decent. Obviously I'm not a body guy. Um, I did a first layer of Bondo and now working on a second coat. I'm going to get it all smoothed out and repainted and back on the car. So if your horn quit working and you need to rig something up just to be safe, just to have a horn, um, you just need to ground the horn, which it's got a nut on the back. You can run the ground wire too and then bolt it to your chassis. And then you run a power wire from the horn to the button that you choose. And then a wire from the button to your battery's positive post here. So I hope this was helpful. I hope this can help someone. Um, I, like I said, I was just trying to be safe. Having a horn is better than no horn. Uh, so I hope this was helpful. Please like and subscribe, and I appreciate everybody for the support.